Under the pretense of a group tour, Chinese citizen Zhang Xiangzhong came to Taiwan last week, where he proceeded to give an interview, saying he would seek political asylum from the Thai administration. The self-professed dissident's request is now being studied by the immigration agency, according to Mainland Affairs Council Minister Catherine Zhang, who remains entangled in the case of the detained NGO worker Li Mingzi. Attending a conference on cross-strait business, Mainland Affairs Council Minister Catherine Zhang was busy chatting up Taiwanese business people. But the question in many people's minds was whether cross-strait relations would be affected by Chinese dissident Zhang Xiangzong's request for political asylum in Taiwan. Last night, we got in touch with this Mr. Zhang Xiangzong, and his case is being handled by the National Immigration Agency. At this point, we still don't know the details of his situation. We're looking to first understand what's going on, since we still don't have a handle on many of the facts. Saying that authorities were still deliberating on whether or not to repatriate Zhang Xiangzhong, Catherine Zhang stated that Taiwan had already notified China of the case under the relevant cross-strait tourism agreements. To complicate matters further, it's now being reported that another Chinese citizen named Xu Dahui last night submitted his own political asylum request to the National Immigration Agency. This Mr. Xu actually has a U.S. passport, so his case is pretty clear. He's gone in and out of Taiwan many times before, like an independent traveler. There is no problem whatsoever regarding his personal safety. The National Immigration Agency was able to immediately dismiss Xu Dahui's application, given that he holds proof of U.S. citizenship and can already transit freely in and out of Taiwan. But the ongoing stream of political asylum requests from Chinese individuals threatens to further inflame an already sensitive cross-strait political situation.